Sound familiar? These are typical sounds that you'll encounter on the streets of Dublin. How about this? That's better. So how do we make that happen? Currently, Dublin is pushing cars out of the city with only incremental changes to its mobility infrastructure. We're still approximately 15 years away from the completion of the government's proposed Metrolink and a fully operational DART Plus program. The current substitution of new buses and routes can only do so much and isn't sufficient for a city the size of Dublin. So what's the solution? A multi-line metro system that can be built by the early 2030s. This metro connects all of Dublin's major suburbs, including Blanchardstown, Ratfarnham, Temple Oak, Whitehall, Adamstown, Swords, Donna Bay and Ashbourne, while also linking key locations such as Dublin Airport, Croke Park, DCU, TU Dublin and some of the city's major stations, Pierce and Houston. This project would involve extensive tunnelling beneath the city, upgrading significant sections of existing rail lines and creating new surface level tracks. You might be wondering, how we can achieve this ambitious goal by the early 2030s. A good news, it's entirely possible. A similar project, a 120 kilometer extension to the Madrid Metro, was completed in just five years under the leadership of the mastermind Professor Manuel Mellis. This extension is renowned worldwide as one of the most successful mega projects ever undertaken. It was completed for a fraction of the cost and time of London's Elizabeth Line, setting an example for a efficient procurement, construction and implementation that mega projects the world over can learn from. Professor Mellis was invited to Dublin to share his insights and success story with the Oireachtas, highlighting how a large-scale multi-line metro can be built quickly and efficiently in Dublin. He continues to mentor the Metro Dublin team as we strive to provide the gift of an efficient and connected metro to the city of Dublin.